Hey guys, welcome back to some more Isle of Rebirth. Um, we beat the first dungeon in the last video, and uh, a few guys have told me in the comments, let's see what was in here, that there's a, there's a lot of optional stuff that I just completely missed uh, before going to the first dungeon. In particular, I was told that um, I was actually able to get all the way up to five hard containers before going to the first dungeon, um, whereas I only got up to four. Um, so there's a few things I could get. Looking at my map, uh, I'm just going to take a glance and see what we can. We, we still can't do anything with that raft. Um, back in the forest here, uh, well, we can now burn that tree, but that just, that leads around to uh, we already came in this area. Alright, there's this little area that I was here before. I think I'm gonna try burning that thing. I don't know if there's a tree there or what. Um, okay, I got the... I don't know if I can... Can I get... I can't access this area because I need to use the raft. Let's zoom out and let's go further here. Um, I think I need a step ladder to get by there, so I can't make any more progress over there. Um, I can now access that area in the, in the village, so we will check that out. Uh, there's a few shops that there are more expensive items, so I'll try that out. Uh, that's still blocked off. I don't remember what's in that cave, but we'll check that out again. Um, that's blocked, that's blocked. Uh, the monkey was blocking that. Uh, okay, there's a new area that's accessible. Uh, I also noticed I never actually went up there, so uh, that's one area that I haven't been to. Uh, but other than that, that's uh, more or less... Ooh, there's that cave up here that I haven't been to. But we've actually been to most of the areas. Uh, can I get... I don't know if I can get... I can get to this right side, I don't think. But, so right now we're going to just walk around just a bit and uh, see what we can find. Let me see, where's my first destination? Let's go check that area out over there in the blue little foresty area um a big thanks to some mike kid uh he previously helped out a lot with uh the legend of zelda lost isle my previous uh let's play of a uh, of a zelda classic game uh so he's been commenting pretty regularly um much like legend of zelda lost isle i'm actually gonna make a wiki page for um, for Isle of Rebirth, uh, this wiki page will have a, like a guide where uh, you can get all the hard pieces and have a little walkthrough, and uh, it'll be linked to on uh, Zelda Dungeons navigation at the top. Uh, this is just for people who play a little bit later and uh, and want to. Uh, who need help uh, later on down the road and just have like an archive for the game so in the description below there is now a link to the um, Placeholder page at least for now of the Zelda dungeon wiki where uh, you can access the Isle of Rebirth page. All right All right can't break that. Let's try bombing it All right, I cannot do that. Can I walk in between the trees on the right side? Maybe it just seems so suspicious. There's just a random... I can't burn that guy, can I? There's just a random hole here. Can I get in through here? No. I don't know why that's there and what purpose it serves. It's just really suspicious. That's, that's odd. Um, okay, uh, we still need the power bracelet before I can do anything there. But... Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the map once again. Uh, okay, we got the bomb upgrade from there. I'll head up there a bit later. There's this area all the way at the northeast corner that I will check out a bit later, too. I don't remember if I accessed that cave, but there's that one cave right there. Um, okay, and then there's also this information box area that I never went to, but I can because I have... Uh, bombs, but let's make our way over back to the town. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in the shop that I can also purchase, but there's also there's a house that was now accessible. 
uh, because now I have the candle right here. So let's see what we got in here. Charge up your sword with this scroll and release a mighty spin attack. You learned how to use the spin attack. This handy technique will deal double damage. Alright, sweet. Alright, good. I was actually mentioning in one of the previous videos that that ability was seemingly missing. And uh, nice to see that it's back. Alright, that kid... I don't remember what he needed, but I think he was something related to the trading sequence. Or to what I think is a trading sequence. Um, okay, we got that. Uh, I can't think of anything to do here. Let's check out the shop. And then we'll head east from the shop and see where else we can go. I imagine there's somewhere on the map that's now accessible that previously was completely unaccessible. Okay, we can get the upgraded shield, so let's go ahead and buy that. The magic shield, it can block some projectiles that your old shield couldn't. Okay, I think hopefully I can now uh, block this new item. Okay, it's just the same item. Um, Hopefully that can block the fireballs from like the Zolas or River Zoras, whatever you want to call them. Um, okay, we can't go anywhere. Let's check out what's in this cave. I think I went into it earlier, but I don't remember. Oh, there's... Wait a second. There's vines right here. Okay, we can walk on those vines too. I haven't been there yet. Alright, oh, okay, we need the hook shot or... Oh, ow. Oh, that was not fair. Okay, uh, so those are a little... Hey, Goron! Be careful, a couple of Lynels wander down from the northern mountains. They are extremely dangerous, so run if you see one. Of course, a mighty Goron warrior could take them on easily. Alright. Alright, we got 20 rupees, sweet. Okay, I don't think I went in this area yet, so... Oh! That's because I can't. You can't walk over there. Can I bomb this? No, I can't. Okay, I need the power bracelet to go beyond here. I'm guessing the power bracelet is the dungeon item in the next uh, dungeon. Because that has been uh, my limitation for a few areas now. Uh, okay, so we can't head northward because that gate is blocking. Uh, let's, I guess let's just head eastward, uh, I imagine that monkey's still blocking that pathway, but there was, uh, more trees I can burn down just to the right. Oh, the monkey's gone. Okay. So we now have access to this area up here. Alright, before heading in that direction, though, um, let me head eastward and just fill out the rest of this map because I want to see what's in there and I want to see what's up there. Okay, sweet. Ugh. I thought the monkey was definitely going to be part of some trading sequence or something, but... Okay, thanks for clearing out the trees in front of my house. You may take this heart piece as a reward. Alright, excellent. So now we got four heart, uh, quarter heart pieces. Uh, we are up to six heart containers. Uh, as I said, I think in the very first video of this uh, playthrough, this game allows you to have up to 30 heart pieces. So, oh boy. Oh boy. That was not good. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Alright, I'll get back there in a moment. Alright, I'm back at the screen, and I lied. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> going back to that early. Since I started back at the start screen, I realized I was pretty close to this uh, cave over here. So, uh, let's see what we got inside. Uh, Alright, just a treasure chest. Uh, it's probably another hard piece, I imagine. Alright, come on. I also found... Let's see. Uh, Alright. Was that 50 rupees or 20? I don't know how many rupees that was, but it was just uh, rupees. Okay, we can't get to the right yet. This area on the right side that leads to this blank area. I'm guessing it's something to do with this like owl statue thingy. Uh, this clearly shows, like, in Oracle of uh, Ages, there had these things where you would push vines, little, like, seeds up to them, and then return in a different season and vines would be growing. Or an Oracle of Seasons, if it was, uh, depending on the season. 
Uh, anyway, uh, there's a heart piece right here behind that tree that doesn't appear on the map that uh, I also um, forgot about. So I'm gonna go get that. But I gotta check out that cave. I don't remember what was in that cave. I think I might have already been inside of it. Might have been a hard piece. But uh, since I'm in this area, I might as well check it out and see what we got. Oh, we were blocked off. Let's. Oh, okay. Now I can head south from here. Oh, that's an all new area too. Okay, there's a lot of new areas here. Let's see what we got though. Are you here to help us? Our woods to the west of here flooded ever since the triangle-shaped rock appeared on top of the flooding. On top of the uh, has angered a giant serpents that have left their underground dens and eat anyone who goes near our home. If you kill the monster snakes, then I suppose you can have the rock as a reward. Even get into the Moblin City, you will need to know how to use a Moblin-made Moblin -made arrows. Come here. I shall teach you... You will need to find a bow to use this with. Okay. So now we have uh, the arrows. Uh, can I get? To, I can't get to that item from here though. Can't. Okay, I can't get to that item. I need the bow probably. Uh, one thing though, I did figure out how to fix the mapping problem. Um, my there's. If you look at the settings in this in uh, Zelda Classic, uh, I'm using an Xbox 360 wire controller, and there's the joystick settings, and then there's the additional joystick settings. Um, and basically, what I, what I was like, it was causing me to press multiple buttons every time. So anyway, car, 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 car. Polly want fresh fruit, car. Uh, okay, I don't have fresh fruit for you, but let's see what else we got in this area. Uh, okay, well, it looks like we're... I can't get south from here, but it doesn't look like there's anything of interest. Looks like maybe we'll catch up with that area that I was just at. Okay. Uh, okay, no, I can't do anything here. Um, that looks suspicious, though, that little tree on the left. Maybe I can burn it? Oh, okay, that's where I can access from the south. So I gotta make my way back around. Uh, let's head back to the village and let me get that heart piece. And then I will uh, maneuver back around to that same screen. I'm sure, I sure hope I can burn that thing because... Uh, did it ever go south from here? Oh yeah, this is just the regular path. Um, oh, tree. Let's see what we got here. These things are just all over the place. You humans, you humans hunt us moblins, even though some of us are peaceful. I'll give you this if you don't tell your kin about my house. 23, is, there 20, is that 30 ruby? Oh, I think I maxed out at 255. Uh, okay, so I probably shouldn't have gotten that yet, but... Oh, well. oh, in the original Legend of Zelda, 255 was the maximum amount of rubies you could hold. So, um, yeah. Let's, is there anything in the shop that I could buy? Uh, just arrows and magic. Okay. Was there another shop somewhere? I thought I could saw... Oh, I could check out that info area as well. Things are just coming back to me of things that I <laughs> could have gotten uh, before the first dungeon, but um, there's definitely a few hard pieces that I'm missing somewhere. There are... Shooting explosive. Okay. Uh, let's go check out that information area. Uh, what did Nehru want? Or Nehru Sprite? I'll I really want him to spend time with. Him. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe this is like one of those like. Stuck on a boss? I may be able to help for a price, of course. Uh, okay. So this is just like a guide, I think, if you're stuck. I will make a note of that and maybe come by later. Stuck on a boss? Not a dungeon, just a... That's odd. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Let's see, what else? Is there any... Okay, south just goes back to the dungeon area. I don't know what that is. I don't know, was that something? It looks like I gotta dig. Maybe I need a shovel. Once I get a step ladder, I'll be able to quickly access that area. Got that. 
Just browsing through my map to see if I missed anything yet. There's the guitar dude. Is that the guitar dude? Well, he I think he was playing a guitar in Oracle of Seasons when he appeared. Um, okay, so let's head over. We're going to go there. But first, let's try to burn that tree. And I can't think of anything else to do. I'm sure there's stuff I'm missing. So I'm sure uh, in the comments below, you guys can help me out if you'd like. Uh, and tell me things I've missed. Um, uh, I did say that I do not want to see future spoilers, so if there's an area that I have yet to go to yet, don't don't tell me what to do. I, I, I don't want to I don't want to guide through the game, but in terms of missing things, uh, that that's okay. You can tell me that. Like if there's a heart piece I'm missing, please help me. My brother went off to the town west of here, and they arrested him and threw him in prison, just selling bows. Now he's being held in the prison at the northern end of town and he has been marked for execution. Do everything you can to save him and you can take whatever you like. Whatever you you will need this. Okay. Guards will try to kill you on sight. Excellent. You got the prison key. Break into Remdra prison and rescue the Moblin. Okay. That is probably, where is it? That thing right there. Uh, that sounds like it's probably a mini dungeon. And it sounds like I'll be able to get the bow. So, uh, alright, sweet. I guess we now have a next destination that we are going to check out. First, let me go and see if I can burn this tree that I was... Alright, good. So suddenly, there's a lot of things we can do. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to be able to burn this. Alright. What did that do, though? Uh, did that do anything? I don't know what that did. I don't know if that did anything. Oh, wait. Did it? Oh, it made those turn into mushrooms to the right. So now I can access the... Oh, I have to go all the way back around, though. But now I can access the from the right side and head up. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's glitchy. Okay. Uh, make a mental note of that. Uh, but I'm gonna go to, I think that's a mini dungeon where I'm gonna be able to get, I think I'm gonna be able to get the, uh, bow from there. <clears throat> Since I already got the arrow from the other Moblin, I guess the Moblins are, uh, responsible for giving you the bow and arrows. Uh, in any case, we're closing up on the, uh, let's see, you know what, let's not go to that area yet. Uh, I will make a note of that. That's one of my next areas to check out. For now, I want to check out that, what I think is a mini dungeon, and I think that'll be a good ending place to stop this video. So, um, let's see, I think that was just a few screens over. Yeah, right here. Two screens up, or one screen up from here. Um, so hopefully in the next video, we will check out this mini dungeon and uh, continue our quest through the Isle of Rebirth. Ah. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you guys next time where we will journey through the Remdra Prison, Floor 1. <laughs> Alright, guys, take care.